My name is Quentin Marburger. People here at Tongue River call me Bull Whip. Uh, I came to Tongue River about a year ago. I take care of the north end of the ranch. There's a river that goes right through this ranch and everything on the north side I take care of. I, I live at what they call the North Camp. My wife and I and three kids live there. Uh, I take care of all the country north on the ranch uh, and all the cattle and the horses that are entrusted to me. Well, I'm responsible for them, all the water, the windmills, the fences, the uh, keeping up with the grass and pastures and just caretaking. I mean, that's, that's what we do. We care for the land, we care for the cattle and the horses and, and, uh, and the camp. That's really important too. So that's what I do here at Tongue River. My daddy was a cowboy, but he was a different kind of cowboy. He wasn't, he wasn't a big country cowboy. He was raised in central Texas, and, and he's a cowman, a good one. And he's a horseman as well. As far, as, uh, as far back as I can remember, I've wanted to be a cowboy and not, not, a, uh, not a weekend cowboy, not a pavement pounder, nothing like that. I wanted to be, uh, I wanted to be like the days gone by. I wanted to be that kind of cowboy. And we get to live that here. We get to experience that here. And I want that for my family. And uh, I want that for my children, if they choose to go that way. I've never done anything in my life much other than cowboying. So I, I don't exactly know how it would be to live otherwise. But thank God that I got but I was raised doing that because it seems to fit my personality well. And, uh, and I just like to be riding a good horse and working cattle and smelling a little mesquite smoke when we're branding or when the cook's cooking dinner for us. And, uh, and then I like to be around the men and work around good men, which at Tongue River we have some of the best, some of the best men in the country work for Tongue River. And uh, so it's, uh, being a cowboy is a good lifestyle. And uh, some people say there's not a lot of money in cowboying and that may be true, but the truth is if they cut our wages in half, we'd keep working because we love it. The importance of this, this way of life to, for our family, our family is it's just a so much better place. You can raise your kids with better ethics, better work ethics. Uh, their manners are better here. They're around people that are mannered and they learn. And here you can take them with you. They can stay with you on the wagon. If they're able to go and ride, they can go. And I really, and that's, that's a big deal. That's worth a lot of money right there to be able to raise your kids to, and, and we're trying, and they're trying to teach the new generation. That's a dying breed right there. I mean, if you can't take them with you, they can't learn. And there's a lot, of, and that's I think that's dying away. We had some people ask us last week about, uh, is it an honor to be a cowboy, to be a, a Texas cowboy working on the Tongue River Ranch? And I told them, I said, I, I want to make it clear that honor is one thing. Honor, you can earn honor, and honor can be given by anybody, and honor can be taken away by anybody. But you as a man, if you're a man of valor, like scripture says, it is not taken away from you. And uh, we strive for that here. The cowboys are men of valor. We fight for each other, we have each other's backs. No matter what, you don't have to like the man, but you will have his back no matter what. And a lot of the things that we get ourselves into out here uh, it's not a one-man deal. I was raised going to church at Benjamin, Texas. And I was baptized when I was a young man, young boy. And like most younger guys, I loved the Lord, but I didn't serve Him as well as I should. and. Of course, none of us do, I suppose, as well as we should, but uh, I've had him on my mind all my life. And the older I get, the closer I, that I'm drawn to him. And uh, I've had some, <clears throat> excuse me, I've had some bad things happen 
in the last year or so. And if it hadn't been for the Lord, I don't know if I'd have made it through it, but, uh, but I did. I'd like to tell all the young folks how important it is to serve the Lord and it seems like a lot of times it's later in life before you're, you do that, but you're sure missing out on a lot when you're young by not serving the Lord and, and are studying His Word and, and going to church and, and trying to live a life more like Christ.